Hey gang, we've got a quick how-to by request for today. Thanks to Osifin3095 and Speaks2020 for the questions from my RSS and VRC videos, which are, how do I add the real F1 helmets? So in modding terms, this is a great introduction to understand how a Seto Corsa custom shaders patch ticks via the magical xconfig.ini file. Obviously, you're going to need a Seto Corsa. You will need custom shaders patch installed. There's plenty of how-tos all over the internets for this, but if I could recommend one place to check it out, go to Sir Spats Gaming. I'll put his link down below. You'll also need the mods as linked in my various skins videos. So download the cars and skins of the ones you're after, plus the helmet mod, which is also gonna be in the description. For the example in the video today, we'll do Hamilton's Mercedes W15 using the RSS Formula Hybrid 23 mod. But before we move on, be sure to comment below if you've picked what track it is. It's an easy one. While you're down there, if you wouldn't mind also just doing some of those YouTube yeah. things, three thumbs and subs, that'd help a ton. Let's jump to the process. Navigate through your browser to your AC install location. This is typically Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Assetto Corsa. Once you're into that main Assetto folder, open Content, Cars, and find the mod that you've got installed. So in this example here, that'll be the RSS Formula Hybrid 23. Within that, you'll find the Skins folder, crack that open. Keep that window open and let's open up another and bring up the location of the car skin of choice. Not the helmet one just yet, we'll step through why that is. So once we drag and drop that across, here's something you'll find. More often than not, there'll already be a file in there called xconfig.ini, which we modders use to apply a wide range of CSP awesomeness to things. As it's used in so many different mods, one thing you don't want to do is accidentally overwrite it with the next thing you drop in. So we'll jump back to the downloads. This time, let's crack open the helmet download and just check out what files we've got available to us there. So in this case, there is one DDS or image file and lo and behold, there's another xconfig.ini. So we don't want to drop both of these files over straight away. What we'll do, let's just grab the image file, the DDS, drag that one across and next we'll double click the xconfig.ini that's in the helmet download there's a few pretty handy lines of code in here that essentially block and replace a texture. Very simple use of CSV. Right click and copy those lines and let's jump back to the skins folder where we have installed the car skin and the helmet image file and let's open that xconfig file. Jump to the top, doesn't matter where but at least you can see this and paste them in. Whack save. A trap for young players can be not all these things will preview in the showroom. So sometimes you can think, I've done the mod, I've done all the steps, but nothing changes in the showroom. Sometimes you just have to go all the way through into game and let the whole thing load and you'll see the difference. So before and after. And that's all there is to it, gang. As I say, it's a really straightforward application of xconfig and there are countless things you can do with this, but it's a great way to start learning just the smallest things you can tweak to make a set of Corsa all the more immersive. So I hope you got a bit out of that today. Happy to take more questions and if there's other specifics you'd like to learn, if I don't know, I'll certainly find out for you. And if you have made it to the end, be sure to drop a comment down below. Aussie Dave, you're a helmet. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, chat to you next time. See ya.